Right, so now they're cut. Got to cut these slots in the end on all of them. That is that deep. I think it's about 20 some mil, 25 mil maybe. Right, in my old route here, I've got a 6 mil cutter, 16 mil template guide, 16 minus 6 gives you 10, so it should be 5 mil either side. So just to check, I set this up, some bits of wood, and centimetres, 5 mil, 5 mil to that edge there, same there. So I'll make, I'm going to make a little jig. So that's about 34 mil. So 34 plus 5 either way, so 44 mil. So just clean that up a little bit. Slides in there nicely. A little bit of play but not too much. So what I need to do now is put some guides, fences, whatever you want to call them. So now that will go like that. What I need to do is put some pieces of wood on the back here so that I can position it. That's what I've got. Super glue, screws, and that should fit over there. I'll give it a go, see what it's like. So that's looking quite good. Cool. So it's looking Pretty much like like the original. So I just transferred the mark around with distance in. Now I should be able to set that up. I'll have to use two hands, I need to pull this down. That's good. I'll get that set up. these connector bolts go through those so I need to drill a hole that big now it's quite a good chuck on this, I like this knurled top and bottom so you can get hold of it it feels like you can you know, grab hold of the bit quite strongly Now they're all drilled, I think it's time to put this mechanism in and glue a piece of wood in here.
That'll do. Gotta put a little miter on here and glue this piece in. This counter sink bit's a trend one. You see how neat hole it makes. That's why I buy them. I bought this one for this drill. I bought, I think it's an Urbar one. Does it say on it? I don't know. But this one, I bought for this drill when I got it. I don't know if you can see. See how sort of octagonal it makes the hole. It's a bit shit actually. So I got this one. So I bought another trend one just for this drill. And I made these a little bit deeper than the original. Because the thicker wants to go on, they need planing down. I think I'm going to be tempted to put these in and then just run them through the planer. I might end up taking a millimetre off here off this wood but I think that'll be okay give me a nice flat finish there Something like that, anyway. So they got glued in last night. I'm gonna risk trying them through the planer. I think I fucked up there. That one looks very bollocks. Those ones look alright. That one has a shiny bit to it. Right, yeah. Don't know if you can see. But that. See that light line? Uh, that's the damage in the blade from that screw. Bollocks. I've had it many years, it's time for some new blades maybe anyway. And it doesn't feel too bad, I might be able to sharpen that out. Right, this little pin goes in the end of these ones, about there. Six and a half mil. I don't have a Brad Point bit the size, but I do have this one. What I want is a depth stop. So I'm going to cut a little block of wood and drill it.
there's a witness mark here how far that peg stuck out so it's set me depth you could put a bit of tape around but this won't move could drill a little hole first I'm just going to go for it you drill a little hole first helps you get exactly centre Can't find a hole. Story of my life. Huh? Right, put them together in pairs. One's opposite to the other. 